On today's show, BlackBerry's newest executive shakeup, Eric Schmidt's iPhone to Android guide, Gran Turismo 7 news, new Persona games, and the final auction price for that product red Mac Pro. It's about full bulletin time. Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin, where we recap five major stories from our site, technobuffalo.com, every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story I mentioned on the show, check the description for links or click on the graphics for each story if you have annotations available and toggled on. I'm Ashley Skeva. Here are your top stories. More executive shuffling over at BlackBerry this week with news that their chief operating officer and chief marketing officer are both leaving the company. In addition, BlackBerry's current chief financial officer will be replaced by a current senior vice president, but will continue to advise recently appointed CEO John Chen. All these changes up in Waterloo don't look like they're stopping anytime soon either, as additional layoffs are expected. Former CEO, now executive chairman of Google, Eric Schmidt, hit the news this week after penning a 900-word guide aimed at his iPhone friends, explaining how to convert from iOS over to Android devices. Schmidt also mentions three phones in particular it seems he's fond of, the Galaxy S4, the Droid Ultra, and the Nexus 5. In the guide, he also recommends switching from Safari to Chrome and setting up two-factor authentication for your Gmail account. In gaming, a familiar franchise is back in the news. Gran Turismo 6 for PS3 is slated for release on December 6th of this year, but Polyphony Digital Studio head Kazunori Yamauchi claims his team could have Gran Turismo 7 ready for launch as early as next year. Well, he couches that statement by noting that that's the best case scenario, but the PS4's hardware might require less fine tuning to get Gran Turismo 7's quality where they want it to be. Developer Atlas announced not one, not two, but four new games in its popular Persona franchise this week after an official Persona countdown clock hit zero. Obviously, Persona 5 for PlayStation 3 is the big news, but they also unveiled Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth for Nintendo 3DS. Persona 4 Dancing All Night for PlayStation Vita, and Persona 4 Arena 2 for arcade machines and PlayStation 3. So it's pretty cool that Atlas is developing for a variety of platforms. Our wildcard story today is about the insane prices people will pay at auctions for special edition things. Johnny Ive and Mark Newsom created a gorgeous red Mac Pro for a product red auction that took place last Saturday night. And apparently, bidders really like the color because it sold for a whopping $977,000, well over the estimated $40,000 to $60,000 estimate. Proceeds all go to Red, a charity dedicated to eradicating HIV and AIDS. So that's one charitable freaking person right there. That's the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, a thumbs up would be super amazing of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. See you guys next time.